Pitbull versus Pet Bull. And I, I'm going to warn you guys now, those, those who are uh, my normals, I'm probably going to use the Pitbull umbrella term. As in, I'm going to use the term Pitbull improperly at some point during this conversation because I just don't feel like... Um, you'll see my point in a second. The worst thing to ever happen to the Pitbull breed... Now, this is opinionated. Um, there are two great tragedies for the pit bull breed. <clears throat> the first one was people that fought their dogs, right? However, we produced the American Pit Bull Terrier from those people. So it wasn't... Uh, it's one of them things, you know what I mean? Um it's a nasty history, but it is what it is. Now, I want to talk to the fur mommies. You guys out here that just love your fur babies. You people have done more damage to these dogs. You have killed more dogs. You have gotten more people killed. You have gotten more children mauled than every dog fighter combined in history. You are the main problem, most of you. And now I know I just pissed you off, but give me a second. If you hear me out, I got a good explanation. You see, if you scroll back through my videos, you see lots and lots of dogs, and that's just the ones I've recorded over the last nine months or so, all right? We take in a lot of dogs. We work with a lot of dogs. I see a lot of people with their dogs. And the fact is, is these fur mommies, um, they are just flat out lying to people. And they're, they're encouraging people to get themselves into extremely dangerous situations. Um, and, and I'm sure they mean well, but it don't fucking matter. You know, it, it doesn't matter. The, the road to hell was paved with good intentions. And, and that's exactly where these people are sending these dogs because if you don't believe me, get on your Facebook. Look up your game bred dogs. Find your groups that, ha that, that understand what the dogs actually are, the different breeds, and so on and so forth. Talking 3,000, 5,000 members in those groups, give or take. You know, some of them maybe, maybe a little more, a little less, whatever. Go to your I Love Pitbulls group or anything like that. Millions. Millions. And, and, and there's a thousand of them, right? So that means that this information that these people are, are giving out is, is getting out way more than the good information coming from people who know what they're talking about. And if you speak up and correct these fools on something that hey, it's just fact, they just don't know what the fuck they're talking about then you'll get jumped. You'll get jumped, banned from the group. They'll report you to Facebook, Twitter, whatever you're on. Uh, they, they will come after you. Uh, specifically, my last conversation, <clears throat> these people said, I went out and got a pup at six, six weeks old. I didn't realize I was buying him too young. I didn't realize this. I didn't realize that if I had of, I wouldn't have done it. But now... This dog is crazy. He's running all over the house. He's barking at me. He's biting at my sleeves and my hand and growling when he does it. What is wrong? You know, is this, do I need to have it put down? Well, what is the problem? And of course I had to comment. I was like, fucking eight week old puppy, nine week old puppy now. There's your answer. There is no problem. So my comment was plain and simple. Well, it sounds like you got a pit bull. If you don't love that aggression, maybe you should consider rehoming the dog while it's nine weeks old and you have time to get him into somebody's hands who can actually handle this dog that does know what they're doing. Because the fact is, you didn't even know that the dog was too young for you to get it. How in the fuck do you expect anybody to believe that you know how to train a dog at that level that is not a pet breed dog? Look, most of these guys that's raised these dogs for 20 fucking years can't train their dog. Can't train an American Pitbull Terrier, okay? Can't do it. 
there's millions of videos online to prove it. You look at the competitions. They had to lower the rules for competitions for pit bulls because people just can't control the motherfuckers. Not that they're an uncontrollable breed. Just the people that have them can't do it. And that's a problem. Because a pit bull is a very strong, very, very strong dog. Very capable. So if you don't know how to train that dog and that dog runs all over you, that dog is a liability. That dog is dangerous. And it's not the dog's fault. It's your fault. Then we get into misidentifying breeds, which is the main root of this problem, right? Because these people have experience with bullies, Staffordshire Bull Terriers, and things of that nature. Other dogs that are of whatever heritage, and they just have a bigger head, so they think it's a pit bull. And you see all of them. Like, I got a 100-pound pit bull. I got a 90-pound pit bull. No, you don't. You do not. Shut up. But nobody's going to say that to you. Most people just let you go on with it because they don't feel like arguing with you. And again, it's not an argument. It's fact. If it's not an American pit bull terrier, it's not a pit bull. Um, the, the, the response to my comment was staggering. But there, 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 of course, there's this one woman on there that wants to. Well, 95% of pit bulls are not not aggressive. They won't ever show aggression unless you make them that way. That's horseshit. That's horseshit. I'd say 99% of American pit bull terriers are gonna show aggression of some sort, whether it be, you know, predatory aggression, barrier aggression, fear aggression. Occasionally, you'll see some dominant human aggression, but it depends on how the dog's handled. As a breed, they're not human aggressive, but I promise you, if you if you get an American Pit Bull Terrier pup and you let him run over you for his first year and a half of life, you're going to have an aggressive dog. If you try to take him in and beat his ass for everything he does, you're going to have an aggressive dog. If you just take him in and love him, you're going to have an aggressive dog because that's what the fuck a terrier is for. And, and and it's nothing against the breed. Nothing against the breed. It's against you. There's nothing wrong with these dogs. There's nothing wrong with aggression. It's the fur mommies that are just flat out lying about it. They're 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 lying about it and they're getting people into these situations that 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 they're just destined to fail. The dog is destined to fail. If people would just be honest, maybe these people would go you know, search out some education. Maybe they learn how to train a dog or at least read a few books or something, but they hear every time Dick and Harry talking about how cute and cuddly their pit bulls are and everything they ever heard is just a stereotype. It's not the case. Not the case at all. But there's millions of them and thousands of us. But uh, the problem is, is nobody's speaking up. No, nobody feels like having that argument, and, and I get it. You know, nobody's gonna sit around and argue all day, every day. But I, I genuinely appreciate the people that are going to the trouble to put out the information, um, to correct things, to correct these misunderstandings. Like I told you before, I, I do this shit with the dogs, the rescue dogs, the YouTube channel. Um, that's that's just that's just me. I, I'm 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 giving out free training advice for the people that can't afford to pay me to train their dogs. I just shoot them a link to the video. Boom, it's done. I'm never going to monetize my YouTube account or anything like that. Uh, mainly because, like I said, the whole purpose is for this to be free for people. Um, and the second thing is, is I say fuck way too much. And you can't, you know, I got to list my channel is not suitable for kids. So, you know, when you do it like that, they get funny about the, you know. YouTube thing, and I, I don't want to do anything to get in trouble on here because I want to keep putting out videos, and uh, it seems like I, I'm meeting some cool people that that share the same frame of mind as me. So I, it's restored a little bit of my faith in humanity. But like I said, man, there's millions of them and thousands of us. Um, to all those fur mommies out there, take a seat, get an education. Normally, the person in the room who is the loudest is the one who knows the least. So if you're bouncing all over these social media groups telling people that pit bulls are not aggressive, they're not violent, blah, 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 you need to shut the fuck up. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. No reputable dog person, I don't care if they're a trainer, a breeder, nobody, 
nobody with any education or experience on planet fucking Earth will back you up on what you say. Only other pet owners. And the problem is, is you're lying any damn way because your dog is aggressive. And 99% of the time, I end up pulling that out of them too. They say, oh, my dog's not aggressive. He just don't like other dogs. If I just keep him away from other... Well, then bitch, your dog is dog aggressive. Period. And and people want to live in denial. That's not just a river in Egypt. It's it's This shit is having some serious consequences on people. And I kind of just had to get this one off my chest. And, and to be honest with you, it's mostly so I don't have to type out this argument on Facebook and shit like that. And I just share the link. And you can as well.